hundreds and of thousands of people who admire me, who follow me, like as they follow other elders and leaders who have gained some level of integrity and reputation. They will note you. The followers will note you. I say you cannot. I say why? I say because I'm Dr. Apoki. I'm your friend Dr. Charles Apoki. I remain your friend Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm your friend Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm still talking about reasons why young people don't get fever. If you breed notoriety on social media, you, you, you exhibit notoriety on social media, people are watching you. People are taking note of you. Embassies are taking note of you. Companies are taking note of you. They will go to your social media handle and see the kind of things you've been saying. It can deprive you of marriage opportunities. It can deprive you of employment opportunities. It can deprive you of responsibilities that will lift you up. The other thing that prevents young people from gaining favor from God and man, on social media, if you insult adults, if you insult somebody like me, there are hundreds and of thousands of people who admire me, who follow me, like as they follow other elders and leaders who have gained some level of integrity and reputation. They will note you. The followers will note you. They will mark you. Some of them who are ardent followers might quack you. They might prevent you from having access to people that might help you. Number three, if you share the secrets of your mentor or somebody who has acted as a benefactor because he annoyed you, you share that secret with another person who can mentor you or be a benefactor to you, he will become very careful with you. I saw a young man revealing everything that Atiku did with him. <laughs> Atiku might have lost the election, but that young man has lost everything. No court cases were brought against Atiku, but the court of public opinion has sentenced that man already. Don't ever reveal what transpired between you and your benefactor at one time if you now disagree with him. People are watching you. Because I don't want to make too many units of this video. If a benefactor gives you an opportunity to function. See it as a ladder to climb. Do it very well. As you fail in little, little things, he is subtracting your relevance in his life. A time will come when great opportunities will be available. He won't give to you. I have a lot of young men who do various things for me, various things. There are the ones you will call them. They will not pick your calls. There are the ones when they know that they have messed up, they will not pick your calls. When they eventually do, they will give excuses. Such people, when opportunities of referrals come, they might not refer you. The next thing is that if you are doing business with a benefactor, don't be greedy. He might tell you 
to share the proceeds. He might share an information with you. If you go, if you are greedy to take the biggest portion, he is watching you. Or you share equally with him, he is watching you. Even if he tells you to share equally with him, decline, use common sense. He has more resources to give to you. He has more resources to give to you. Loyalty is not saying, uh, Daddy, Daddy, Mommy, Ose, this, that. No. Loyalty is being with a person through thick and thin. I went somewhere with a young man that I mentor, that I've been a benefactor to. We wanted to enter the place. He knows the person. He knows the person. I don't know him. And he wanted to go and see something. I was very reluctant because that man is far younger than I am. And what he is doing there, I've done bigger ones. He was curious to go and see. We got to the gate. He, the owner, who is, is his friend, said that only him could come in. And he left me at the gate and entered. I marked it somewhere. That means if the need arises, he is ready to abandon me. I marked it somewhere. So you must be very careful. He could have told that man, I will come back again. I'm with my boss. I will come back again. He sneaked inside, had the privilege, but he lost. He lost. He lost everything. So you must be very careful as young people. There are rules of engagement. And in the next video, I will share with you other things you must guard against as young people. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button, like this video, and share it with others. You can send a message to plus 234-7052-1367-6763 to join my WhatsApp mentorship group. We are approaching 900 people in that WhatsApp group from different countries, Japan, all countries of the world. God bless you.